All right, we are back. Shadow Mario 41 here with more Perfect Dark with enemy rockets. So let's continue the last mission. We blew open the hole of the inner sanctum. We equipped the Phoenix weapons, and we are exploring inside. Now the special thing about the Phoenix weapons is that they are uh, me and pistols, as you can see, and they have two functions. The first is just a normal pistol shot, you know, nothing spectacular. But the second is what makes this weapon really unique. It shoots a bullet that explodes on contact. This will usually kill most of the Skedar, especially those little Skedar, it'll kill them in one hit. So, getting the Phoenix makes this mission really easy. Now, this is probably the easiest puzzle you'll ever find in a video game. Let's see, there's a, uh, a rock with a picture on it, and then there's a floor panel with that same picture on it. And we need a bridge to get across that chasm there. So, oh my god, how ingenious. Push the block on the panel, and look at that, we can proceed. That was actually a mission objective. That's kind of sad. So now it gets a little dark, so we have to use our lovely IR scanner. Gives you a tunnel vision. So let's... You see how using the Phoenix takes out those guys very, very quickly? So it's def definitely worth it to get the Phoenix, even though it takes a little bit of extra time. Unless you're speed running. If you're speed running, um, the Callisto will do nicely as well. Now, actually, uh, I started to go up there, but I forgot that there was there were a few Skedar that I need to kill first. Because um, that's the way it's supposed to go. But then uh, there's more Skedar um, down on the floor below. Like, that's like a, a little bridge over another room. There's more Skedar in the room below, and if you walk over the bridge, I think they'll shoot at you. And right there, one of those little Skedar caught me by surprise and hit me. I didn't see him. But, we'll take care of him. One explosion, he's gone. Alright, so. The third objective of this mission is to assassinate the Skedar leader. And, yes, believe it or not, there's actually a boss fight. And it's against the Skedar leader. So yes, there is a boss fight in this game. The one and only boss fight, I believe. Well, you know, we'll leave it at that. The one and only boss fight in the normal missions. But uh, those Skedar right there, they have uh, rocket launchers. Normally they'd have Slayers, which is pretty much the Skedar of equ equivalent of a rocket launcher anyway. So it's not really a big deal. Now if you use your IR scanner, you can see that there's a Skedar perched on top of the cliff there, just waiting for you to go. But you can blast them. And the reason that this that big explosion is because when the Skedar, this is actually a trick that will come into play during the boss fight, um, when the Skedar fires a rocket, it comes into contact with the explosion from the Phoenix, so that causes the rocket to blow up in the Skedar's face. So yes, using this Phoenix also makes the final boss fight very easy, as the final boss, the Skedar King, will pretty much kill himself. <laughs> so. It's funny to watch, though. A little anticlimactic, but funny to watch. But before we get to the boss, we have to go through one more room. We have to go through this room, which has... Well, you'll see in a minute. It's, first of all, it's pitch black. So we need to... ...equip the IR scanner. And it looks like the Skedar army is in suspended animation. So we have to face the Skedar army. Uh not very difficult. Especially with the Phoenix, uh, it's pretty easy. You usually have, you have an ample warning as to when a Skedar is about to appear because the, the door is open. And when you defeat a few of them, the lights come back on so you can get rid of the IR scanner. But yeah, not very difficult. Especially with the Phoenix. Um, even with the normal weapons, this part really isn't too bad. Uh, the only time it's kind of difficult is on Perfect Agent, but um, yeah, not too bad at all. The music's really cool though, I do like the music. So, and even in this big room, rocket launches are pretty easy to dodge. So once you 
beat them all, the secret army has been defeated, and you progress into this room, and into the room to fight the Skedar King. There he is. Now as I mentioned, this battle is a bit anticlimactic, um, because the Skedar King shoots rockets, and those rockets will uh, explode in his face with the, if you use the Phoenix. Now the way to defeat the Skedar King is that every time you damage a shield down to green, he'll go in front of that little emblem thing, and the power of the sun aligned with the emblem will heal him. So the solution, we take out that little insignia, symbol, emblem, whatever. We have to take out all four parts of it before we can get the middle part. Once we take out the middle part, it'll be good. Now if you don't play this cheaply, the Skedar King actually has a few interesting strategies. He'll warp uh, to uh, on the battlefield somewhere and try and hit you. He'll summon more Skedar to help you out, or you know, stuff like that. But once we kill the middle pillar, he's dead. An interesting bit of trivia actually, um, the Skedar King is the only enemy that does not wield a rocket launcher that normally would an enemy rocket. He still wields his, uh, his trident, I guess, or his, his special weapon. Even though it emits rockets, um, it's not technically a rocket launcher, so interesting trivia. I am one for trivia after all. Alright, watch the end cut scene. Joanna. Joanna gets caught in the Mian bombing Where of the uh, battle shrine. Elvis. But it looks like Joanna's Elvis. still alive. Looks like she's stuck under some debris or no something. No Uh-oh, what was that growl? Give me your gun. Hmm. Well, you... Uh oh. Intense. Wow, Joanna is a total badass. I managed to get the big stuff that bombarded when I looked for you. They'll start as soon as we're clear. I'd have got out in time if that one hadn't grabbed my foot. Yeah, right. Of course, Joanna. Of course. No, I would have. I don't believe you. So that's it, that concludes this mission. I actually beat this mission on the first try again. So hooray for me, no failed attempts. And um, with that, we completed all the normal missions. We are going to delve into the bonus missions. And for bonus missions, they're actually pretty interesting. So I'm looking forward to doing them. Um, the only thing as far as that goes is that I do not have one of the bonus missions unlocked. The mission is called War. And in order to unlock it, you have to beat all of the standard missions on perfect Asian difficulty. I do not have this unlocked, and I do not intend to unlock it, so you guys are kind of going to miss out. But uh, I'm sure you can look up another video of it on YouTube if you really want to watch it that bad. But yeah, this project is kind of winding down. We only have three bonus missions to cover, and uh, maybe another extra video or two, and we'll be done. But for now, this is Shadow Mario 41. This has been Skedar Ruins Battle Shrine. See you guys next time.